but we're going to get this match started very soon. Wayne Pullen versus Richard Grenier, race to three. And only midnight here, huh? What do you mean? It's only Yeah, it is only midnight on the West Coast, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Oscar and Santos should just flip a coin and get it over with, right? What's the score? One one. Uh, between yeah, Santos and Oscar, the score is one to one. So it's been a long night, folks. We still have well, we still have two streaming matches to go. We're gonna have this match, and uh, I'm assuming there's gonna be downtime. Uh, between this match and the final match because obviously Oscar and Santos we might even get three matches in depending on how long Oscar and Santos take uh, because I would like to have you know the final match okay is this the break? this is the break alright this is the break yep it is alright here we go guys and we got a bad break here. Hi, Barbara Lee. Barbara, the barbecue is in town. And I'm sitting here with Frank, the barber. Thanks for hanging with me, buddy. Oh, it's been fun. It's been fun. I've enjoyed it all day. Yeah, Frank and I just got, uh, we had some time to play a few racks. That was a lot of fun. We should match up, up sometime. I'd love to play you. Can I have a mint? Sure. <laughs> I think it's an even match. It's pretty close. Yeah, you know, I'm a, I'm a bit of a gunslinger. I like to go for things, you know. That's why I like the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. So, well, b basically, uh, out of the gate here, Rich makes an error on the break, and already Wayne's looking at uh, making his second ball. And I don't know what else is in the stack there, so he's probably... Yeah, he was just getting into position so he can do something with the one ball. Yeah. Uh, he, wanted to, he wanted to come a little lower down so he could, you know, bank the one ball. No, I don't think it's bankable. I think he just wanted a position where he can get it to his side and take the cue ball by the five. He wanted to get that one ball just a little bit further. So I guess this would be a hot seat match, so to speak, right? Is there such a, is there a, such a thing in a single melee? I don't think so. Because you would have two people in, two players, or four players at least in the same position at, uh, at this point. These two guys and then there's two other guys. So what other games are going on? Uh, just Oscar and... Santos. And Ernesto's still in it, correct? It's one game to one. That, that match has been going on for, uh, I uh, think, over three hours now. But I'm saying Ernesto, he's still in the wings waiting for a match? Or Ernesto's he's... still waiting to play the winner of their match, yeah. Okay. And obviously, you know, Ernesto and Oscar, they never play each other. No, that well, doesn't make any, any point for them to play each other. If they do play each other... Like sometimes in certain tournaments they require for you to play the last match out. Well, if they're going to play each other, what's the point? Because they're just going to be batting the balls around doing nothing. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, if, if Oscar wins this, it's going to be a quick... It'll be a quick next it'll, match. Yeah, it'll be a quick <laughs> next match. In fact, it'll be, it'll be Oscar waiting to play the winner of this match. Right, yes. Yes, yeah, sure. Mike P over here, the house man, just bringing us a, another cup of hot streaming coffee. <laughs> and I, I've noticed in the last uh, couple of years that when uh, Oscar and his son, or rather his dad, have to play each other, that Ernesto just lets him go, I guess, just because, of, well, a couple of reasons. 
give him more playing time, and secondly, it's because uh, uh, he's actually playing better than his dad these days. Yeah, so. he's he's done that before. He did that. Uh, I think he did that recently at the Hard Times Ten Ball event. And I, I've seen him do it. He did it at uh, Butero's, I think. When you, you remember when we were up Butero's? Sure, yeah. I think yeah. he did it then, too. So Ernesto's actually... Ernesto's up on, like, table three, hitting some balls, just keeping his blood flowing. You know, one thing about Ernesto and and, uh, and Oscar, when Oscar's playing, you can bet that Ernesto is somewhere in a room watching that game. It could be from a distance, but he's watching that game. Oh, yeah, they sweat each other's matches all the time. That was a great shot. It by, was, sure. They, the, the good part was that he was able to hit the 11 ball just in case he didn't pocket that uh, 8 ball. And not only did he hit the 11 ball away from uh, Rich's pocket, but now he's got a free bank on it. The, uh, so it chooses to uh, shoot it. Yeah, I think. Yeah, he needs to. He needs to stop the cue ball because if he lets it roll just forward a little bit, I think that nine ball is playable, even though it's by the side pocket. Sure, sure. But if he gets that eleven ball close enough, oh, look, look. Well, a little, uh, a little too fast. But well, it look was. What he's done it, to Rich here. it was because he had to make sure that he didn't go past the nine ball. You know, there's also, do you see that 7-6 possible yes. combo there? I don't know if Wayne looked at that, but that looked like it was on. You see what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, uh, it does look at like it's the bottom it, of the stack. Right. Well, did he leave this ball bankable? Um, it's hard to tell from the, uh, from the monitor, too. I'm not sure. He, well, he looks like he's looking at it. No, he's just going to feather it. Get a get a. Now, and let me ask you a question, Dan. Since you're involved with the uh, POV and the streaming and so forth, is there such a camera that could be put above that would give you kind of a panoramic view? You know, right in the middle, and that uh, you can see the table from up above, even in places like this where they have lights above the table. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, you know, there are there are cameras I can clip onto the lights. I can raise the lights and uh, add another camera. But uh, you know, for every new element that you add to the system, uh, you're also you're also adding more equipment, uh, like a switcher. I would need a camera switcher. And, yeah, okay. Uh, the switching right now is a bit of an investment. So not only would it be a new camera, but it would also be a uh, switcher as well. Marie Lim, how you doing? I'm Mar good. How are you guys? All right. Have fun talking Marie, to Marie just walked in. Did you just drive up here all the way from um, Timbuktu? Actually, Curtis came down from Vegas and he wanted to watch the action, so he called me up and we strolled by. Where's Curtis at? He's sitting over there. Oh, with the, with the bandana on his yeah. head there? Oh, right on. Cool. Awesome. So, he he came back from Vegas. He came down from Vegas. Oh, no kidding. Or came up, whatever you want to say. You came up. You came up from Cerritos, right? Yes. Or Lakewood. Uh, Buena Park. Buena Park. Well, it's good to see you. Good to see you guys, too. Glad you're here. We're, we're, we're the match behind us here. And I'm sure you've asked around already. Yeah, I heard that's been going on for three hours. Yeah, three hours and it's one to one. Oscar and uh, Santos. So uh, we just got this match started here with uh, Wayne and Rich. And what are we looking at now, Frank? What did I miss? Well, uh, Wayne had good control of the table. Okay, Marie. Marie's gonna get her drink on. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm fixing your mic. There you go. I think he's going to try to clear some balls out on that shot there, which he did. He took a couple of them out. That was good work. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, Frank... Well, we were talking about the cameras, and you yeah, said that... Uh, and, and, and to be perfectly honest with you, within the next six months, 
three to six months, I hope to be able to make some upgrades. So we're talking uh, uh, finances. Is that? Yeah, we're talking yeah. finances. You know, um, I don't make a lot of money streaming, and uh, lately it's kind of been the only thing I've been doing. I used used to paint houses, and I uh, was a bar like a a bartending manager for catering companies. Yeah, but this is a lot more fun. It is a hell of a lot more fun. <laughs> it sure doesn't make as much money, but it's a hell of a lot more fun. Uh, and uh, I had a motorcycle accident over a year ago and was advised by, by, by my doctors, you know, just to get out of that business that I've been, you know, doing, painting. I had knee surgery. Yeah, and that's, that's hard work. With my right shoulder and elbow, so, um, you know, I've turned this into a sit-down job. That's hard work, yeah. Which is a little more healthy on some accounts. Uh, but hopefully, Frank, uh, we will be seeing some changes. No, I was just curious about that overhead because in a game like of one pocket, you know, there's, uh, there's certain times when you really need to know whether a ball can get past another ball. Absolutely. You know, I really admire some of the other streamers out there, like uh, the Action Report, and uh, you know, people that are able to provide a second and sometimes a third camera view. You know. Yes. And you know, hopefully, the future looks bright. It's it's very difficult to raise the money, but uh, you know, I try to stay optimistic. That was a good shot. It was a good shot. I thought he was going to have to give it to him for a minute, but he was able to take it out. Yeah, he stuck him. Rich's wife actually gave me a call, Jenny Lee. Yes. She called me and said, how's he doing? And I said, uh, I said, I think it's 1-1. One, one. She said, can you turn the camera to the table? He was playing Larry, so we turned it over. Yeah, that's right. Steve Leistico uh, uh, reminds me, actually, that uh, we lost Chad Pullman, uh, who was the co-founder of the Action Report. Now, that's a shame. He was very young, too. I don't think it was more than maybe 40, 41. Yeah, he was only 40 years old, unfortunately, and just, uh, you know... Passed away of a heart attack um, last night, was it? Or uh, yesterday, sometimes yeah. it was early yesterday, or yesterday morning. And you know, I didn't know him very well, but I, d I did have the opportunity to meet him a couple of times um, when uh, Tar was streaming in Vegas about four years ago. Uh, I did talk to him. Uh, I I've met him maybe five years ago or so, and then. Mm. A nice guy, and it's a shame, you know, somebody so young. Absolutely, and, uh, you know, it came as a big shock. Shane Van Boning was a good friend of Chad's. As a matter of fact, I think maybe that's why Shane didn't come to play this tournament, because he was going to play it. He was scheduled it, you know? to come to play yeah. this. And uh, I hope you're doing okay, Shane. I hope... Uh, you know, I hope he gets a chance to go to the memorial service or whatever whatever it is that they do to commemorate uh, uh, Chad. Wow. Well, everything that Rich does here is not working out good. He's had a few bad breaks. Wayne is making one ball at a time. And what's the score here? He's got three now and with a shot to make more. He'd like to make the four and get on the two, and then from the two, maybe the seven, the one. Uh, he forgot, he decided to f just pass up on the two. It was easier to get in shape on the seven, the one, ten. Sorry about that, the scoreboard, the game count is incorrect. Just about to uh, fix that. Wayne just missed the opportunity to win the game.
Well, this, this game seems to, be, seems to be moving a lot more fast paced or this match does uh, so far. But depending on the outcome of the first game, sometimes that'll actually slow the match down even more, you know. The, the player that loses tends to sometimes slow his game down. Four to zero. Rich is is back in this game. Actually, well, the, the, the table layout looks almost kind of even, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Uh, everything that Rich wow. does is not working out. He's making mistakes. He's making mistakes. Maybe he's tired. You know. Well, you know what? He just had a, a tough match with uh, L.A. Mo, uh, yeah. Moto. Moto, yeah. And when uh, you play a game like that, it really drains you. In the next game, it takes you a while to get back in sync because you're still so keyed up on that last match. Absolutely. And just to switch gears like this, uh, because Wayne plays a much differently paced game than uh, Larry might do. So... Rich has to kind of get into a, he has to switch gears a little bit first. Well, you might have gave up the 11 ball here. What kind of table you got at home, Frank? I have the uh, Brunswick Centennial. Okay. That's the one with all the uh, aluminum skirts around it. Oh, yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, I think Inside Pool has one of those tables in the new studio that they're, they built in Florida. Have you seen pictures of that? Uh, yes, yes, I have, yes. And I was at a table that was set up by uh, 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 the real King Cobra, Glenn. I'm not sure, but see, see these pictures right here? Yeah, that's the uh, Centennial, all right. That's yeah, the table that's that I have. I bought my table about 20 years ago. And surprisingly, you know, that's uh, the aluminum skirts. I, before I had them, the table put together, I took it to a metal shop, a metal polishing shop, and they did a beautiful job on it. And uh, it's been 20 years, and uh, the polish is still there, just like, it, like they did it 20 years ago. I just clean it and wax it maybe every six months or so. No kidding, no kidding. Oh, I just got a word from Steve that Mark Gregory set up that table. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Wow, how about that kick? That was nice. It didn't work out real well, but it was a nice kick. Well, how many does... Uh is this, does Rich owe two right now, or does he owe three? He's got two coins up there. It looks like, yeah, two coins. You know, there's, you can mark the, the IOUs with one coin and just move it from one, one diamond to another. I don't, I don't like doing it that way because I've noticed that that coin seems to move around <laughs> <laughs> when it's not supposed to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, you mean like I was doing equal earlier? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a, this could be a big deciding factor on this game here. That ten ball is makeable. Uh, you mean for Wayne? <laughs> for Rich, see here. Well, the ten ball is makeable. Yeah, see, Rich so it. it Gave him a chance to get back in the game when I don't think that he should have took that shot. Well, if he was going to take it, he really should have bared down a little more. He, he, he kind of. No, it still it wasn't. It wasn't a good shot to take. Oh, 
Rich I mean, you, was hoping to feather that one ball there. You have the guy 4-0 and you just want to keep him locked up. Plus you had position on him. Well, it's, well now it's 4-0 because Rich owes those two balls that he just made. Yeah. So then uh, we can say that Wayne had a six ball lead on him. Uh, hold on a second. Actually, Wayne did not pay a ball of his in, in his tray. Do you see it in the ball return? No, I think I think everybody thinks the way it should be. I think it might be five to zero. We'll see what happens. Well, thanks for going his way. Now he gets a, a hook on the uh, twelve ball with the three. Now he's spotting up the two balls he owes. Yeah, see, see, there you go. See, Rich knows he only made two balls, and you see, there's one in the gutter. Ah, uh, he's paid it to himself, so maybe he did make three. I, I think it was his. Okay. Okay, so the ball count now is four to one, Wayne's way. These guys are good friends. They wouldn't do thing funny. Well, no, no, absolutely. I'm, I'm not. I'm not at, at all insinuating that. At Yes, you are. <laughs> Killing me over here. <laughs> well, that was a smart shot. He doubled him up on the 15 ball. Barbara Lee is now going to bed, and uh, thanks for joining me again. I'll probably be see her around four or five in the morning. <laughs> Have a good night. Sleep well. I'll try not to wake you up when I get home. Well, Wayne's, Wayne's, see, here's the thing. Is some people talk about coming to the table cold, yeah. you know, but really, Wayne's had some time to relax a little bit and just take... Yeah, you know, that could be good, that could be bad, too. Yeah. I don't know, but it just seems like a little bit, right, like, Rich is kind of caught up in the moment a little bit right now, and he needs to, he really needs to settle down from that last match. Yeah. He's got most of the balls in his favor right now. How's that 14-2 combination look? I know Wayne looked at it a couple of times. It looks a little bit off, actually. Two balls a little bit further off the rail. Two ball looks a little bit higher than it should be in order for that to go. Well, if he's got any chance at it, he might go at it now. Yeah, and that's another issue, too. Rich just made a comment to me about, you know, he was on that Brunswick, and now he's on the Diamond different speed oh yeah 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 well this one here is a lot faster all right that was like a containing shot and he's actually setting up the uh In the combination yeah combination. yeah but i don't see why rich well rich can't really knock this away no he's just gonna slide the cue ball up table leave the two ball right there he, shot. Yeah, he might have made the two made a playable now with a with a carom It depends on how much he's in trouble, whether he tries to carry him on the deuce, but I, it doesn't seem like he's in that much trouble, because uh, he can kick he can kick at the six ball, that I know for sure. Big mistake. I don't even know, uh, you know, a lot of people came to see this event, and I'm not really sure who is left. There are a few people, including Joe Martin, who is basically sponsoring this event, and uh, 
it's about 12:30 now, so we'll see how late how late we go. Rich really wants to make something happen with these two balls here. Well, he might give up a bank on the 14 if he tries to move it to his side. Nice speed. Well, he played a good cue ball there, so the 14 now. Yeah, is wait. Blocked by the string of, by the string there. He might he might kick bank it to his side. I was just content in getting it out. I can't really see what's there for him to shoot at. He's not looking at it really that hard. Yeah, no, I don't think the five is any good. There's a lot of traffic over there. Possible two railer here. Ball count right now four to four, and this is the first game. Adjust the scoreboard so you guys can see that. I meant to ask you, Dan, is that your cue stick there? Yeah, that's mine, and this one's yours. Yeah, we we were we weren't sure if it was yours, and Wayne said, "Yeah, it's probably Dan." So I brought it over here. Yeah, you guys were doing that, uh, trying to work on that shot. And I guess I just gave Wayne my cue to do it. Good night, Amy Super, Manny Herrera. Thanks for stopping in. I'm sure you'll be able to catch the final uh, match here on YouTube, on my YouTube channel in a few days. I'll post it when it's up. I can't guarantee that I'm going to be commentating very well at four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, like we said though, if Oscar wins this, we might have a very quick fun. Yeah, match. we can skip right to, to the next yeah, match. We will be skipping right to the winner of uh, Rich and Wayne here. Uh, by the way, the payouts for this event uh, will be, uh, well, actually, 4th through 8th got $100. 5th uh, and 6th got uh, 175 And, is that correct? I, I, I'm not fifth, sure. Sixth, I, uh, oh, I'm sorry, no. 3rd, 4th was 175 2nd place is $500, and 1st place is going to get $800 for uh, this $1,000 added event. It was 36 players in all, and it was a $40 buy-in. It looks like Rich is getting used to the table pretty quickly here. Well, it's five balls to four. Oh, I'm sorry, five to three. 
Actually, five five and a half to three. Oh, he took the half away. Yeah, he did, but it is now going to be five to two. Stack is blocking him here, is it? No, he's had a clear shot at it. Second, uh, Wayne thought he was going to get that good a lead. No, no, he was just wanted to get the ball somewhere near his hole, and yeah, yeah, and taking the cue ball up table was pretty safe. There's nothing opened up over there. Well, up table is what he did. <laughs> Rich has now got to start using his head here. Well, he's swinging at it, swinging at the one ball. Wow. Oh, he got lucky. That was a high risk shot. Yeah, he got lucky. You know, I think he was trying to go uh, and to hit the stack two rails. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, avoid the one com uh, right. Yeah. Completely. Nice shot by Wayne. That was nice. Didn't get much of a reward, but it was a nice shot. Well, Wayne really needs these balls. It's now it's now five to three, and it was looking like Rich was close well, to losing. Well, Wayne had complete control, and then uh, things went sour on him on a couple of shots. That's good cue ball. Came out okay. It's looking. It's uh, it's Santa Monica Billiards uh, versus Hard Times Billiards. <laughs> the end of this evening, won't it be? You're absolutely correct. Both these guys, Rich and uh, Wayne, play mostly out of uh, Santa Monica House of Billiards. Rich actually plays. Well, both Wayne and Rich, they come down to hard times, too. Uh, but they mostly play on the west side. At Santa Monica, where the pockets are real tight. Somewhat of an advantage to have is because at uh, Santa Monica, they play with the red circle ball. And the hard times guys play with the measle ball, and they do play different. Oh yeah, absolutely they do. Especially, you know, especially when you put a lot of stroke on the ball, you know, or especially with draw and and force follow. I, I like the measle ball for this for this game. 
And the uh, red circle for rotation games, nine ball, ten ball. Because mm-hmm. I think I can whip it around a little bit better with that uh, measle ball. That uh, I have a hard time pulling it, you know, if there's a distance between the cue ball and the object ball. But the, the red circle ball, I can still handle it pretty good. The measle is tough to move around sometimes. He might have gave up a shot here. If the four ball doesn't uh, go, he, I think he might have gave up a bank here. And how good did he hit it? This two is... Wow. You know what? It was going. I was watching it, and it rolled out. It was going in. It was. I I, I didn't get a chance to see it because uh, Wayne was standing in the way for me. He hit it pretty good. Well, I think he's going to have to give him this one. There's too much distance to take it out and control the cue ball with uh, so many balls out in the open. I think, I think I have to agree with you there because uh, he, he's up right now and he can't, he can't mess around with selling out more than that one ball. So He might have a shot to get the five close again. Now he's going off the eight ball. She's playing safe. She's going to wait. Now five to four, uh, one pocket rich. Grenier ahead. Meanwhile, what do you think is the update on the uh, Oscar and uh, Santos match? Do you really want to know that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me uh, still one one. <laughs> still, as far as I can tell, it's still one to one. But you know what? I tell you what I'm going to do. Frank, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get a quick update, okay? Okay. Frank, I tell you what, it's uh, Santos's match right now. It's uh, two games to one, Santos. Ball count is five to four, Santos against Oscar. So we all know what that means, right? <clears throat> it means that we might have another extra match. Yeah, if, we might if Oscar doesn't win. <laughs> Yes, uh, once again, I'm just going to repeat this. If, if Oscar wins this match, um, Ernesto will probably forfeit and let Oscar pass through to the finals. Ernesto is waiting to play the winner of Oscar and Santos, but uh, Ernesto and his son Oscar, they don't play each other, so... Uh, but if Santos wins, Ernesto will have to play out his match. Well, if Ernesto plays that match like he played the uh, previous match, it'd be over in about 15 minutes. That's right. He just shot at everything yeah. and made everything. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't forget to uh, easily there. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Ernesto Ernesto basically drilled uh, Ross Fagroso 3 to 0. Um 
and uh, you know after you actually had a pretty long match with Ross. Didn't well, you? that's what it was. I softened him, uh, softened him up for it. Yes. Hill, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, two balls left. And he could have went either way. Yeah. Yeah. It's always disappointing when it comes down to like one or two balls, isn't it? I hate it. The worst is when you when the guy's got you seven nothing, and then you come back to tie it up, and then you lose. Yeah. Well, what so do you think? I, I must have missed the ball go down, uh, uh, Frank, because it looks like five five now. He, uh, well, he had one hanging. Wayne had one hanging. Well, you know, he might as well shoot at this 14 ball here because you're going to give up the eight anyway, so maybe you you can get one ball for it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, just shoot the 14 and let Rich, if he misses, let Rich go ahead and shoot this eight in himself because it's not going right, to be yeah. for him afterwards. And, and then nice, if you make so it, it's nice a shot. plus. Well, the worst it'll be is 6-5. Well, it's going to make it 6-6, six, six, right? Yep. Well, this game is neck and neck, guys. That's uh, seven ball, two railing, and it's a little risky with all this distance. I think he heard you. <laughs> Wow, wow, Rich Rich just barely hits the rail there. Played a good shot. He's playing this ball. Look at this ball. That's I a nice shot. That shot. Well, that's a nice shot. You, you can play that with uh, with reverse English and kill that ball yeah. on that side of the table. Hey, look, if he'd have made it, he'd have had the 15 or the 7. Boy, that could have really shocked Rich. Up table game now, so let's see what happens. This is a lesson for me right here, watching these two guys outmove each other. Definitely a treat. Well, you like that shot? Yeah, it's okay. Now, if he makes this one, you got two on the spot, but then uh, Rich is going to make the other one. You have three on the spot. Then Wayne will be shooting with three of them on the spot, which I don't think he wants to be doing that. So Rich is kind of doing the math, you think, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, of Wayne, course, Wayne, Wayne is too. Wayne it. is too. That's why he's not falling he's for not it. He's not falling for it, yeah. <laughs> Uh, he definitely doesn't want to put this one in the pocket and, and give up a shot to make the other ball. Well, wait a minute. What's happening? No, he's going to hit the outside of it. Okay. <laughs> so now he reverses it on on, uh, on Rich. Now does Rich do the same? Bring the 15 closer? I think Rich can afford to make this ball. Because oh, he's going to take a shot at the seven. Yeah, no, he's just going to get it out of play. Oh, just bring it up towards the side. Okay. Yeah, this looks like a free shot. Uh, yeah, it is. And Wayne hits his shot real well. And making the five is no big deal because now you got two balls in that area, and hard against, hard to defend against both of them. <laughs> See, whoever would be shooting at the uh, at the balls on the spot is at a disadvantage. That being Wayne right now, except the seven ball. 
Yeah. He'll probably His, play out uh, the seven. I don't think he wants string. He doesn't want to open up the other, but you have to be careful not to hit it too hard because if the cue ball leaks out and gives up a bank on the fifteen. That's true. He wanted to hit that kind of full like that. Right? Yes, right. Yeah. Hey, Frank, what the hell are we listening to, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, anyway, both these guys are actually loving this moment right now, you know? Really happy to be here at the Final Four. I'm happy to be here sweating this. You know, this is a treat. Well, that could have been a mistake there. Rich is like, you know, Rich has been around for a long time. I was over at JJ uh, Jenkins' place. He was showing me old videos of Rich. From uh, back of the old hard times and Hollywood billiards days. Sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, maybe three or four years ago, uh, I bought a tape from him. From JJ? From JJ that he had recorded many years ago. When I played a match with uh, with uh, Sal Batera. Okay, okay. Oh, and he had you on uh, on that tape? Yes. Uh, I didn't know he had it. Somebody told me about it, and so then I got a hold of JJ. And, uh, and which which venue? Was it at Hard Times? No, it was at one of the uh, casinos in Los Angeles. I think it might have been the Crystal Palace Casino. Okay, uh, oh, that was probably Jay Helfert's event, right? Yeah, yeah, it was. One of the L.A. Open events, or? Yeah, uh, I don't no, know if I it was, know. I don't know if it was an L.A. Open one. And did you win? I did win. Well, that's why I got the tape. <laughs> Who wants the tape when you lose? <laughs> ah, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Six balls to two over at Oscar. All right, Santos is now uh, ahead of uh, Oscar's ahead of Santos, six balls to two. So now, you know, the worm has turned a little bit on this match between Oscar and Santos. It looked like Santos was uh, ahead in balls, but now he's four balls down. I think Santos just gave up a shot to Oscar yeah, to see if he can capitalize on it. Right <laughs> well, Santos expects to hit everything perfect. If he doesn't, he's he's not happy. It could be off an inch or two, and yeah. oh, it's like the world falling apart. <laughs> How long have you known? Have you known Santos a long time? Yeah, I've known him a long time. Oscar's got a shot to make some balls here. He's got a shape. He made a ball. He's got shape on the eight. Looks like he can get on the seven ball and even possibly the six ball. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a hill-hill match between Oscar and Santos real quick. And it is. It is a hill-hill match between Oscar and Santos. Be another two wow. hours. Another two. <laughs> Frank, you're too funny, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Meanwhile, we've got six uh, balls each here uh, between Wayne and Rich. First game. Dan, you have kids? Do you remember tomorrow's Father's Day? No, but I have I have a father. I gotta go see. There you go, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I expect my kids they usually either come by or call me. I'm gonna be uh going in yeah. I I told them I'd sleep in a little bit, but 
you know, I might just be better off driving to Culver City and knocking on their door at 7 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Forget to sleep, huh? Yeah, you know, well, no, go, go over there, get to sleep for a couple <laughs> hours, and then get up and go have brunch with them. I might have to do that, actually. I definitely don't want to miss uh, Father's Day. I think he's going to sell out the seven ball on this shot. Well, yeah, that was, you know, he was getting impatient there. Yeah, he wants, that, was, that was a little bit of a hasty He was trying move. to make something happen that wasn't there. Well, so what's well, Wayne, Wayne need too? Wayne might actually, I don't know if Wayne can get far enough off the, far enough. You know what, he can. He can slide the ball down to the rail. If he can freeze on the rail, he can bank that seven. You know what I'm saying? Where's there's a ball missing? Where is it? There's a ball missing. You know what? Uh, you might be right about that. No, no, no. There's no ball missing. It's six six. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I see six in the tray. I now thought I saw seven, five. Six. Well, here's that shot that uh, he told me that. Uh, was easy to take out. Well, I think the seven, the ball was a little. Yeah, that was a little pocket. further out. <laughs> yeah, that was controllable. Yeah, it was. So Wayne now just needs one ball. Well, if that goes in, he's in trouble. I think he left a three railer anyway. It looks like a pretty nice three railer. That's a free shot, that's for sure. Pretty uh, free. There's no kiss. Well, there's a two rail bank on the seven if you so you know. Well, if you get the five anywhere yeah. near, there's you can he's forget gonna about. Play, he's gonna play a cop, po pocket speed at least. Yeah, you know? sure you have to. <laughs> he plays the five ball pocket speed. The seven is no problem. He doesn't have to worry about the seven. He's gonna miss the five though. He just wants to get it out. I don't think he wants to kick back it because he got a possible scratch well, by the seven. Know, he's already seen Richard make some mistakes here, so you know he he could definitely not he be just, worrying too hard about making the ball. Just wait for Rich to make another mistake. Like look at this. He has to be careful of that uh, seven ball, the two railer now. That's that's what he's thinking about. I think he's gonna. Maybe put the ball in the pocket and slide the cue ball over by the corner of the pocket. You don't like the titty bank? <laughs> yeah. 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 Right, I, I wouldn't mind it if I only needed one and my opponent needed eight and they're all up the other end of the table yeah. frozen on the but rail. <laughs> then I'll try it. I wouldn't mind if it was just playing me for free. <laughs> <laughs> or for five a game. <laughs> Wow, that was a nice. That was a, a really good attempt, actually. Do you remember one of the games Perica played? He cut ball in like that from a tougher position. It was more like where it the cue ball is the now. Yeah. yeah, just missed the. Scratch. Yeah, it went two rails and almost crashed. That's a smart shot. Good positioning there. Boy, that seemed like ages ago when that happened. I think it was. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Actually, uh, it's now 13 hours since I've been here and since I turned the stream on. Time now, 12.58. We started this match at 12.04, so we're almost clocking at one hour for this match. Now, Dan, uh, most of these that you have here, are, uh, uh, that are... Uh the matches that are we're watching on the stream are they also being recorded so people can watch them at other times absolutely um it usually takes me a few days but I, I i take the matches that i'm recording here and i'm uploading them straight up to my youtube channel and my youtube channel is uh accessible through my website you can click on the uh, pov pool on youtube button 
which is on the front page of my website. Or if you like, you can uh, just go to YouTube and search for POV Pool. Okay, that's good. Or even the name of the people that you want to see playing. That's good to know. And most likely, you will find them pretty quickly. I try to tag them all pretty accurately. So, uh, For instance... I'll probably call this one Joe Martin One Pocket. So if you just look up Joe Martin One Pocket. That's good for us to know. On YouTube, you'll probably find it. He needs to slide the cue ball over to to the right side of the table so he doesn't give up the two railer on that seven ball. Oh, that was good too, but he might have gave up the, the two railer here. Who needs the one? Uh, Wayne needs one. There's the two railer, uh, but that could be that could. Be. Well, here's the shot that Wayne played a, a little while back. He banked the ball with some inside English to kill the cue ball. But uh, he's thinking that the cue ball may leak out too far and give him a cut on that seven ball. If that seven ball was a little bit more to the left, he would he would play the five. That's a better shot. This one's got a potential kiss on it. Good speed. Wow, look at that speed. These shots ain't easy. <laughs> Rich is actually taking the time out to tell him, he, tell us he's sorry. <laughs> he feels bad for us here because it's slowing down. <laughs> <laughs> he says he just bought a Red Bull, uh, so in about 15 minutes, 15 minutes, it's gonna be totally different. He'll be running around the table. Yeah, well, I tell you what, he's either, he's either gonna be running out and. <laughs> Or just blowing it quick. <laughs> be running around or running out, you know, it's going to be one of the two. Yeah, I can't take any of that stuff. You know, it's just. Uh, oh, that stuff. I guess so, I'm so sensitive to all that. Yeah, me too. You know, Red Bull. The be the best I can do is coffee. Old fashioned like that, I guess. Uh, it, it, He's looking at this because he's got a chance to get both balls to his pocket if he wanted to play that. But needing only one, that's not necessary. By gosh, he did play it. Look at this shot. Yeah, that, that shot was sitting there for playing both. But like, I, I wow. thought he wouldn't play it only because he only needed one. He didn't want to get them both up the tail. In one pocket, that's called herding the balls. You know, like you herd the cattle. Oh, yeah. That's a, uh, that's a good analogy. Whoop. Oh, it, 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 it just kept running. The thing now is to do is you get the seven ball in banking position, knowing that the Rich is going to have to get that uh, that five ball out. Is it the five ball? Yeah, the five ball is the one closest to uh, Lane's yeah. pocket. So just needing one, you just get the seven a little out to the center of the table more or less so he can have a good bank at it next shot.
Well, seven's in banking position, but I don't think. No, I think no, he should. Not the sides in the way. He should have got it out just a little further. See, right now he'd have a bank if he uh, if he had got the seven ball out. He doesn't have anything now. He might bank the five ball over to his side of the table and bring the cue ball up table here. Well, you know, for those who don't know, this is we're watching two 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 pretty heavy masters of the one pocket game for Southern California go at it right now. And uh, you know, this is a eight hundred dollar first place prize and you'd think they're playing for five or ten grand right now. They're playing hard. Yeah, they are playing hard. Grinding away. We just hit the one hour mark for this one game here. Well, I can tell you this is one of Wayne's better shots here. I'll be surprised if he doesn't if he doesn't lay it if he doesn't lay it went in three or four inches of the pocket. I think you get closer. Three or four inches is too far. <laughs> well, it's not bad. <laughs> There's one thing that uh I learned from Wayne, who, who uh, gave me a tip one time, a long time ago, that I, you know, definitely got to learn pocket speed. You got to play pocket speed. He played that one rail. Yeah, I, you know, I was surprised he did, because he had a nice two railer, and the cue ball would have been tucked away up against the short rail. Interesting. He gave up a shot here. These guys are playing a three foul rule, and um, if there are more than four balls in the kitchen, the one closest to the head string gets. No, the one closest to the rail. To the rail gets spotted. Big shout out for Geraldine Thibodeau, who just joined us in the chat room. balls. Well, he's got another bank on the five here. <laughs> well, it'd be nice if he can cut it to his pocket, get it somewhere near and get behind the seven ball. Wayne is really playing conservative here. about kicking this ball you know it's too far off the rail I don't like it, it uh, you could very well hit that just a little off and then you've given up a shot if it was closer to the rail you can gauge it when you're coming back to hit it but that far off the rail if you're off just a little bit you can wind up on the other on the other side of the table okay, with the yeah. fire okay you're absolutely right and he might hit the seven too and that's, that's just what you said, right? Right, yeah. That's if you're trying to play to your hole. If you just want to just kick it a little bit closer to your pocket, maybe that might not be bad. I think he's got a three-railer here. And could possibly 
get a, uh, a hook with the seven ball. Wow. I'll tell you what, it seemed like both these guys coming up a little short on the shots that really count. Yeah, you know what? I I think he had it straight on. He could have just stuck it right behind the seven ball. But he gave it a little angle, and that's what... Uh, Whoa, what was that? Yeah, well, that was probably the end of this game. That was Red Bull right there, buddy. It's starting to kick in? Yeah, <laughs> Red Bull to kick in. I told you, he's either going to be running out or running around. <laughs> And uh, Wayne's going to close this first game here. One to zero in a race to three. Looks like uh, Oscar just won. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oscar Dominguez beats Santos Sambajon. Sambajon. Wait, Sambajon. Sambajon. <laughs> what the hell am I talking? It's late, guys. It's uh, now 1 o'clock in the morning, and this game took one hour. This is game two between uh, One Pocket Rich and Wayne Pullen, folks. And I tell you what I'm going to do. Wayne Pullen is going on a break. He's going to go to the restroom. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording, and I guess when I upload this to YouTube, um, I'll just break these up into parts. So it'll be part one, part two, part three. So I'm going to break the recording here. The stream will not stop, but uh, for those of you who are watching this right now, uh, be sure to look for part two of this match. It'll be the final, well, at least Richard versus Wayne. All right, guys. Thanks. <laughs>